getting these guys. Uh oh. Got sheep poop on my hat. <laughs> Oh, hey, welcome to Loose Sands Ranch. I'm David Loose. Do I really look like that? Sorry. Hey, that kind of reminds me of a story. I was out doing my chores one time and you know, you get very familiar with the tread pattern on your boots. Cause I mean, you walk around, you look at the ground and you see, oh, that's me. And oh, that isn't me. And oh, there I am. And, no, that isn't me. Well, in an area where I pretty much just am only, I, I look down and there's a different tread pattern. And I'm like, hmm, that's strange. I'm the only one over here. So I carried on, yada, da, 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 and pretty soon I kept, you know, I saw more and more tread patterns that weren't mine. And so I, I, I got kind of I got kind of concerned because I was I was like you know like who's following me around you know like am I gonna have to put up a fight here? But uh, funny thing, I uh, I bought a new pair of boots, and it was it was me actually. So uh, yeah, I didn't have to fight anybody. I'm going to be showing you how I will train a milk cow to go into the barn. I'm going to start getting her used to human interaction and used to what, I mean, basically what you do every day with a milk cow. I mean, you, you handle her, you get her in, you feed her grain, you milk her. I just want to start getting her used to that. So, what I'm going to do, pro tip, not a pro, not a pro. When you are handling animals in any way, shape, or form, when you're wanting them to do something that you want them to do, make it very easy at the start, very obvious. So I'm not going to take that heifer and try and get her in that little pen over there to feed her grain. All I'm gonna do is take her from the outside pen and put her here inside the barn, nice and open and where she can be comfortable, eat the grain that I gave her and it can be something, you know, a positive experience. If it becomes a negative experience in any way, shape or form, not only do you complicate the next steps because you lose trust with them, but it's just a good sign that you did things too quickly. If something happens, if something goes wrong, you gotta look at yourself and say, hey, what did I do wrong? What did I do too quickly that let this positive experience degenerate into a negative one? Got the grain in there, so it's an instant reward. She goes in, she finds the grain, she eats. I don't have to mess around anymore. You know, increase the complexity. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to close this. I'm gonna open it up here. All right, so now something very familiar to these guys. Uh-oh. Got sheep poop on my hat. <laughs> All right, I'm going to simply, and very quietly and very calmly, just work these guys into that pen. And it has to be as positive an experience as possible. Because in any way, shape or form that heifer gets stressed out or anxious or nervous, it's gonna be a lot harder next time. Now, if she gets familiar with the fact that there's grain in there and it's, uh, might have our chance now. No. And that's just the thing. So if she takes the effort to go up there and sniff and she runs back, if she bolts out, let her. Because if you put too much pressure on her too quickly, she'll never go over there again. And so I want her to be comfortable over there. So if something happens, like you know, she's she's in over her head, she she uh, she's uncomfortable with the situation. Let her get out of it. Don't trap her. So we're just gonna take her over there again. If she wants some friends to come along, we'll bring the milk cow. And a lot of it is just very quietly and very calmly. 
moving her in that direction. Now the only space that I want to be uncomfortable is where I am. Okay, so I don't want her to think that when I'm moving her into the barn that out here is a safe place to be because I want the barn to be a safe place to be. And so I'm gonna make this place as gently uncomfortable as possible. So it's anything from just my presence being there, a click with my mouth, a, a snap of the fingers, anything like that. And that, that's all it takes to make where I'm wanting her to go as obvious as possible. I always want to achieve something simply, even if it's just getting her to stand over there at that gate for two seconds. That's all it'll take. Now you're saying, Dave, she was over there. And I know that and I should have I should have stopped there, but I didn't. So I lost my opportunity to stop. Same with training dogs or training horses. You gotta stop when you're ahead. Now the, the hard thing is noticing when you're ahead because sometimes you don't notice. Sometimes what you're asking for is not what you get. And you have to recognize that sometimes getting half of what you're asking for is good enough because if you ask for 10 steps and they give you five, you better give it to them. You better give them a break. So that is in an essence what training an animal is like, whether it is a dog or a horse or milk cow, anything. Now you see her walking over there. She's looking over there. Whenever she looks over there, I want to give her her space. And even that, you know, recognizing when you're ahead, even two steps, she stopped right there. It's a lot different than five minutes ago. She's noticing that over there, I can let her rest. Over there is a little more comfortable than over here. And so I'm letting her think. She's looking at me. She's like, what the heck are you saying? What are you doing? What are you talking about? I don't want to let her rest any farther away than that gate because you want what you're asking from them to be very obvious. And if I was to let her rest simply just right over there and stop, the, the intentions that I am asking from her would be relatively unclear. I don't want that. I want it to be as clear as possible. And something to be aware of that is that they have a flight zone. They have a circle around them. And wherever it is that you're wanting them to go, whichever point of their body you're wanting to control, you walk in on that point so you know I'm wanting her to turn her head. So I'm walking directly in on her head. See, she turned there and it gave her an opportunity to start walking that way. But when she turns into me like that, I can almost imagine myself pointing myself at her shoulders because where her head is going her shoulders will follow and where her shoulders follow see what she did there her head turned around and her shoulders followed she then walks around now i'm not stressing her out at all this isn't you know mean or cruel they're very simple very easy things and at the end of the day I'm giving her every every opportunity. You know, it's only mean when you don't give them an escape, when you don't give them any rest. Because right over there by the barn is rest. And it's for her to find that. And it's for me to show her. And I'm doing everything in my power to show her that over there is rest. You see, see if Ellie figures it out and takes her over there. have even just the slightest attitude change from five minutes ago. You see, that might be all we get. Just let her go, let her figure it out. She went to where I wanted and I back off. I give her her space.
Now her reward is release. It's me giving her her space. She doesn't even need to eat oats today. All she's doing is finding the release from the pressure that I'm putting on her. Not bad, not cruel, it's training. And it's only cruel if you don't give them release, if you don't give them a space to escape. If I chased her around right into the barn, I wouldn't be teaching her anything, I'll just be making her scared of me. Very important things to be aware of. And I mean, these are the principles that dictate how we work cattle. This is our cattle handling mentality, is pressure and release. Making what you're asking your animals to do very obvious so that it is as low stress as possible. These are the things that we're gonna be seeing. Very exciting to show you. And so yeah, you know, she's standing right over there. See where she's standing? That is a definite win for me. For our relationship, for her and our neighbors, and what, what they're gonna be building together as a family milk cow, perfect. It's a big win. So satisfying. I love it. But anyway, that is it for today. We got a guy coming for bales here pretty soon, so I gotta get ready for that. Please like, subscribe, comment below, ask questions. I mean, I don't imagine there are many of you guys that do that every day. And I mean, I love, I love asking questions. So please, please talk to me. I love it. See you next time.